what's up gemini and thank you guys so much for tuning in all right guys so 2019 is here i cannot believe how fast 2018 flew um, i hope that you guys got a lot of good lessons out of it where you're able to better yourself and just live on a better path so i'm really excited about you know this new year and what it has to come so i did fly out to new york just to spend this time with friends and family so i'm super excited i'm recording this on the 29th but that New Year's right around the corner, and I know I can't wait for it. So um, I did do a meet and greet out here, guys, and I met this awesome girl named Gabby, and she gave me this piece along with some others, and they are just so, so beautiful. So she does have uh, jewelry on a website that you guys can check out. I will leave her Instagram and that website below so that you guys can support her business, okay? So let's see what's going on, all right? So this is going to be a past, present, and future look okay at what's going on in your lives and yes i know guys my hair's purple now i'm so excited i've been wanting to do this since i was a little girl but my mom did not allow it and my mom is a master hairstylist so you can imagine that she would really give me the side eye if i went to anyone else but finally got tough and said mommy i'm going somewhere else so just excited to start experimenting with these colors all right so what is going on for the sign of Gemini, January 2019? What is going on with the sign of Gemini? Alright, so we have your past. We have your present. And we have your future. Okay, guys, so the energy that we have here is the hanged man in the reverse. For some of you, there was a place of limbo that you were in, and now you're finally moving past that. You're moving forward, you know, in life, going on your path, doing what you need to do. For others of you, there could be something that is kind of forced in your life that you need to work to get past, all right? A path that could be lost, you know, something that you shouldn't be, a path, rather, that you shouldn't be going down. So change does need to happen so that you guys can you know regain balance in your life if you felt you've lost it in some places all right gemini so going into your past the first card that you guys have here seven of pentacles in the reverse so something that you had invested time in that you felt was a waste of time and effort okay it was a waste of time and you had to release something you had to let it go now we have the King of Pentacles and we have the High Priestess in the reverse. So for some of you, it was a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, for others of you, it could have been uh, someone that for the most part seemed to have a grace about them. You know, someone that could hold things down for themselves. They could have been making good money, things like that. But there was something here that you didn't want to see about this person, whoever they are. And it's not that they were necessarily a bad person, but just something here that you had to move away from. That you were just trying to turn a blind eye to it. You weren't looking at the warning signs and the red flags all around you. Okay? So, the next card here, we have the devil card. So, there's, you know, some sort of toxic situation or some sense of toxicity about what you're dealing with. Why is this devil card here? We have judgment card upright and the moon card in the verse. So it's like you come to this realization where, wow, this is really bad for me. This isn't good for me. I shouldn't be involved in this. So you're making that very important decision. So that's why you choose not to move towards something anymore. So some, or maybe someone's just not moving towards you. All right. Now we have the two of cups. So the two of cups usually is someone that you're very closely tied to. It could be a lover. It could be a friend. Okay, it could also even be a job that you really, really love. So let's see why this is here. We have the world card. And we have the four of wands in the reverse. So for some of you, a lot of you are just ending a situation that was just too unstable. Okay, and it could have been with someone that you truly cared about. Um, for others of you, you're coming out of, you know, you're coming out of something unstable, um, and now you're going towards this new chapter, but regardless of whether you're going towards a person or moving away from a person at this point, the focus really does need to be on yourself, okay? So even if you are in a relationship where, you know, someone that you're very closely tied to is involved in all of this, then you really just have to make sure that you're thinking a lot internally about the decisions that you're making. Does it benefit you? Is this you know the smartest thing for you to do 
okay now we have in the present moment the two of swords in the reverse so a very difficult decision that you finally make you were in a rock, you know, between a rock and a hard place before, and you're deciding that there's something that you're just not going to build on, something that you're not going to wait on anymore. Okay, hermit mode. So a lot of introspection here, guys. You're really looking interna internally as to what's best for you, and knowing that there's something you can't move forward with. Okay. Now we have the five of pentacles as your next card, and this is also the center of the reading. So either you guys are rejecting something very heavily, maybe you feel rejected, maybe there could be some sort of financial loss that you're dealing with, okay? But with whatever this loss, this loss is, it pushes you in a way where you're really taking control of your life and you're making a move and things are kind of working for you in a very quick way, all right? There's just something that you or someone else may be upset about while all this is happening. So things are moving forward. There's love, there's passion, there's, you know, things that you're building. But you're, you could be upset or dealing with someone who's upset about the rejection or fallout of a situation. For some of you, maybe it's a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius that is involved in this somehow, okay? Now we have the Queen of Wands in the reverse as your next card for the present moment. So again, just a continuation of you know feeling unstable emotionally and someone being very passionately angry you know diva like here why is this queen of wands in the reverse we have the queen of pentacles in the reverse and we have the king of swords in the reverse yeah okay so all of this is definitely leading to a fantastic new start but guys the energies here are so tense um, someone is really really fed up with a situation where there could have been like a lot of abuse mentally physically emotionally verbally um, just a sense of selfishness that I see here and I'll be honest guys for a lot of you maybe you're gonna look like the asshole and it's because you've gotten pushed to such an extreme where now it's the only choice you know sometimes we just have to cut people off in harsh ways sometimes because you know the situation seems necessary okay not that we like to it's not a fun thing to hurt other people but sometimes when we get pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed it's you know you're gonna push back a little so that's what it could be for some of you um, for others of you this could just be an energy that you're dealing with but whatever's causing you to act this way or whatever's causing you to feel this way it's just not healthy it's not gonna last long with you having you know this healthy good mindset so definitely something you guys have to work on releasing but a new beginning that comes in once you do okay now going forward into your future guys the first card here sun card all right so brightness abundance coming into your life good omens coming into your life we have the ace of swords in the reverse and the two of wands in the reverse so this changes it a little bit as well because yes there's good that's coming in but with the sun card think of it kind of like the moon card sometimes because there's this degree of illumination okay on a topic so in this case something comes to light and it's gonna cause arguing it's gonna cause you to think about the path that you're on and question if the one that you're on is the right one for you but something's getting cut off here for some of you that's gonna be a Pisces cancer or Scorpio but there's gonna be a huge change in regards to something that you were building okay where you're realizing okay this could have been a lot of illusion here Gemini you guys have to protect yourselves this month okay I'm not you know I feel like a lot can be avoided if you're just real with yourself and you don't let anybody walk over you all right don't take anyone's shit guys all right we have the three of Pentacles and the ten of Pentacles in the reverse so yeah it's just a lot of this is just building something that I feel you guys want but there's things you're not seeing it's gonna cost too much of a loss it's like you're you're looking at something through a smoke screen okay we have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, so something that you should just, you just shouldn't move towards, or maybe someone who's not, you know, going to move towards you. Now, the last card here, we have the Six of Swords, okay, in the reverse. So with the Six of Swords in the reverse, having a difficult time moving away from a situation that you know you need to move away from. We have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, where you're very guarded when it comes to this, okay, and the Lover's card in the reverse. So for some of you, you could really just be letting go of a lover that's just not serving you anymore. Something that you're going to have to, you know, try to put in the past and be strong during it. But you guys are releasing a heavy burden by this. So it could be a lover. It could be a friend. Um, it could be a job. But something is being released. Something has to let go. 
uh, has to be let go of and I feel like your mental stability and your just the way that you see yourself spiritually emotionally um, you know I feel like the situation can really affect it in a negative way so guys this is self-preservation you guys have to get yourselves out of anything that you know makes you feel like that so I'm gonna give you guys three cards of advice for how to proceed okay for this month January 2019 Give me three cards of advice for the sign of Gemini. Okay. So a lot of you are feeling conflicted because of something that came out that's making you feel a bit unstable. Okay, maybe it was with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but definitely a secret that came out here. And, you know, that's being illuminated on. Now, you guys have to boss up, okay? Because I see you going in a whole different direction. For some of you, this is going to be towards a Taurus Bird or Capricorn. For others of you, this is going to be something that you're building that um, monetarily, financially, you're going to do very well, okay? So really boss up, guys, and do what's best for you. And the Emperor... You know, although he has a very kind heart, he doesn't or she doesn't always think with her heart. There's times where we have to be, you know, that leader and we have to make those difficult decisions to do what's going to be best for us. So that's what you guys are doing. Think with your mind, not so much with your heart and what it may want, especially if it's something that you know is not good for you. So, yeah, there's going to be something that you move away from due to secrets that come out. But you have a new start right there. Okay, so a lot of you could be moving towards um, an earth energy or just financial stability. Oh, look at this. For some of you, out of nowhere, there's going to be a huge amount of money that comes in. And you're happy. You feel very passionate. There's a good direction that you're going in. But you guys have an emotionally fulfilling new beginning coming in because you let go of something that was toxic and your power does come back. You guys do find stability here, okay? So just get through the burden of what it feels like to have a new start and know that this new start is going to be fucking awesome, okay? So this looks really, really good, Gemini. I'm happy to see that it all ends well. Now, um, guys, on Instagram, I do post daily energies. So I do a small reading. I post it every day so that people can see what's going on in their day, get some guidance for the day. And right now, guys, I'm posting this. It'll be up the 29th. Um, of December, so I know that I'm letting a lot of you know last minute, but I do have um, a special on questions going until January 2nd. So usually questions are $15, and you can ask anything, and I send you a two to three minute, uh, minute video with the answer, you know, per question. But now I am doing a special where for one question it's $10, for two questions it's $15, it is $20. So you guys can either write me on Instagram, High Vibrations 44, or you can send me an email, High Vibrations 44 at gmail com if it is before or on the second and I will go ahead and send you the payment options and we can go ahead and do that um, but yeah I always have questions that are offered on my website and now if you guys do want to book a full reading you can go to my website I did change the booking system so now I'm cutting back a lot guys I'm only leaving three slots per day Monday through Friday so just select the day that is available um, whenever it is that you want it and I will send it to you on that day I also do emergency reading so if you guys don't want to wait you know those uh, amount of days that you'd have to then we can do that as well um, everything does come pre-recorded if you do get an emergency reading then you have the option of speaking to me directly and we can do that all right guys so I love you so much guys and I really really hope that you're going into 2019 with a bang because everything really does look positive if you allow for yourself to be able to release what's no longer serving you okay I love you all take care